Hey guys, this is Jazz the Gamer here, and I'm going to show you what I've been working on. This is a uh, Mind Saga Skyblock, and yeah, I've been playing for quite a while, and I'm giving you guys an update of what I've been doing so far. So as you see, this is the top. This is where you spawn at, and all I have are trees up here. And uh, yeah, this is going to be expanded later. This is where the residential area is going to be, um, expanding all the way out that way. Uh, let's see here. I'm on the Mystic Realm as you can see, and currently my rank is Sorcerer. Island level is 12,000. I am slowly trying to work my way up. Uh, I want to be in the top 10, but the people in the top 10 are like at 300,000, 900,000, 1 million, and um, yeah, I probably won't be top 10 anytime soon. So let's take a look at the bottom so I can show you what I have going on. Um, these are just uh, beacons. They don't have any power to it. But let's go down here and take a look. Alright, so here's the... Wait, hold on, let me turn that down first. Uh-huh. Which one is it? Is it my... Uh, is it? No. Hostile. There we go. Yeah, let's turn that down. And that. There we go. That should be good enough. Okay, so... Uh, let's start with this room. So in here, this is where I have a minion. Let me show my minion first. Minion is up here. I have two minions. One is here. Miner Jazz is right here. Mining away. And then I have Killer Jazz right here. Uh, inside here, I have Ender Chest. I have a, uh, what is it called? Creeper, not Ender Chest. Ender Spawn, Enderman Spawner, Creeper Spawner, and a Blaze Spawner. Uh, spawners, plural, because I have more than one. And this guy just sits here all day and kills him. So, let's see here. So for Miner Jazz, when he mines, all the stuff go in here. In this chest, where I get my resources, and then I can sell it. My experience bottles. Yep. Awesome. And over here. Down here. Let's see. Over here. For minor killer jazz, all of this stuff goes in here and they're automatically sold. I don't keep anything, and the experience builds up here. Uh those are the um iron golems. And all the stuff here, right now, all the drops go into here. Because I have so many. Because I have all this right here that I can work with. And then I have about three chests of iron blocks that I'm still going to use for building, which are in here. The iron golems are all over here. It's about, what, one, two, three, nine, uh, about 17, 15 maybe? I don't know. About 15 iron golem spawners over there. And then this is Beastie's Island. He's my member, working in here. And uh, this guy kills um, blaze spawners all day. That's all he has in there, blaze spawners. And then all his items goes over here into this chest. I have to empty that out for him. Uh, let's see. Um, these are just beacons, no effect at all. Um, there is something over here, I promise. Let's see. If I do that, will it update it? No. There's a cow spawner over here. Uh, don't know why it's taking so long to load. But there's a cow spawner over there that Beastie is working on. Um, he's making an automatic cow spawner killer contraption. And then over here is my pigman spawner. Um, everything goes into... Well, not everything. Only the uh, gold nuggets go into this chest. Everything is destroyed because I don't want the um, pigment skin and all that it doesn't do anything for me and then over here is my experience shower so whenever killer jazz kills stuff and it puts experience bottles I throw them all in here and then I come down here flip this switch and all the experience falls on top of me but right now it's empty so there we go. Uh, these have no effect, like I said. 
And that's it for the top. Let's go to the bottom. And there we go. Boom. All right. So here's the bottom. Um, so when I first started, I had this carrot farm. That's how I made my money. Uh, this carrot farm, when a chest was full, uh, I don't know why there's rotten flesh in there, but when the chest was full, it would give me about four thousand dollars, I think. And yeah, so I started out with that. The sugar cane farm is worthless. Oh, I know why. <laughs> so when I was up top dumping all the swords before I created that system that only uh, kept the gold nuggets and despawned everything else, I would throw it over the edge and all the swords fell down in here. That's why. But anyways, yeah, this sugar cane farm. Um, it doesn't really produce much. Probably could have made a better system for it. Let's see, go around here. Okay. Where's that button at? Alright. I don't know what's going on. It's not loading. But, um, but yeah, there's a button I press and all of that gets harvested. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's, uh... Let's do this. There we go. And there we go. Alright. There we are. Push the button. Everything gets funneled into there. And it's the same for the carrots. Push this button. Water flows on one, two, three, four levels. Yeah, four levels. And then it all gets pushed into this over here. And fills up. Um, I had a pumpkin farm. Well, I do. I still have it. I was trying to make it semi-automatic so that I would just push them. Was it this one? No. It was this one. I'd have pish pistons that would push them over here. And then hoppers underneath or a rail underneath with a mine cart hopper that would pick up everything. But when I did that, for some reason... Why is there a hole? I don't know. When I did that, for some reason, um, the mine cart would not pick up because the uh, pumpkins were not floating on top of the... the till soil. It was floating above it, so the hoppers wouldn't pick it up, which didn't make any sense. So I just come through every now and then and chop it down myself. Let me press this uh, button over here. There we go. Alright, and the way I get back up top now is just, you know, the command IS go. And there we are. And, yeah. That's about it. Uh, let's get down in here. This is my... What is this? My beacon. Right here. It's a six, six power beacon. That gives me all those effects right there. And yeah, so I have a lot of things I'm going to do. First off, I need to cover, finish the bottom with all diamond, and then I'm going to do this floor here, which I'm currently on, right here. This will be all iron, since I have so much of it, and then I'm going to enclose this entire area, going all the way out here. There will be an iron wall. You see I have most of it complete down here, so starting from down there, going all the way up to there will be iron wall surrounding it and then I'll start building on the outside of it that's where all the residential stuff will go on the outside around it and um, maybe residential island so each island will have a different uh, residential theme so it'll be the, the potion brewery where I keep all my armor and in my house eventually also yep so that's coming in the future guys um so that was just an update of what i've done so far i've been on this for about a month now uh trying as much as i can when i have time to build stuff and yeah iron in there clear that out have my three chests of iron over here one two three and four all gonna be used to build stuff with yep so check me out guys on my next update of my skyblock world probably do it Probably every two weeks since I'm not on here enough for building, although I do AFK a lot. 
Um, but besides that, guys, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, any suggestions you might have. Adios.